Want to set up custom columns for your Google Ads account? Create custom formulas and see exactly how much profit you're making right there in your Google Ads dashboard. I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up custom columns in your Google Ads account. This is an incredibly useful tool and strategy that we use in all our accounts and enables you to see all this data and metrics that Google doesn't provide you themselves. Whatever metrics you want to track, you can do it with custom columns. Okay, we recommend three important metrics that you should start off with with your custom columns in Google Ads. The first is profit generated. Second, average profit per conversion. And third, ROAS, return on ad spend. Let me go through what they mean right now and then I'm going to get into my computer and show you exactly how to set them up with all the formulas and everything. Okay, first one is profit generated. This is the amount of profit generated for that campaign keyword or ad, depending on where you're looking in the account. It's important because it shows us exactly how much profit, the cash that you made at the end of the month or end of the period, whatever you're looking at in Google Ads. Yes, we want to know the profit per sale, but this tells us the total profit after all expenses and ad spend. This is the big mama goal that we want to track in our Google Ads account because it's the ultimate financial indicator of success for our e-commerce store. The next one is average profit per conversion. This is important because it tells us for each customer, on average, how much profit do we actually make? It's also an indication of how much you should actually pay to acquire that customer, the break-even CPA, cost per acquisition. For example, if your average profit per conversion is $20, then you know that the maximum you should pay to break even is $20 per conversion in your account. Okay, the third one is ROAS, return on ad spend. This one is technically already in the account. It's called conversion value divided by cost. But we often like to add it into the account because it's just easy to see ROAS and explain that to the client. This metric is an important indicator of profitability in your Google Ads account because it also takes into account the differences in conversion values between different campaigns, keywords, ad groups, and products. Okay, let me explain why this is so useful. So imagine you have two campaigns. They both cost $10 to get a new customer, a CPA cost per acquisition, $10. But one has an average order value of $100. The other has an average order value of $200. So one has a ROAS of 10, the other has a ROAS of 20. See how campaign two is performing much better than campaign one, it has a ROAS of 20, even though it has the same CPA cost per acquisition of $10. This is why using cost per acquisition as the main metric for measuring your Google Ads success is not the smartest thing because you'll see that different campaigns, different keywords, a lot of different parts of the account actually convert differently and generate different average order values. So that's why we stress using a combination of different metrics to gauge how the account is performing. Okay guys, that's enough mucking around with all the theory. Let's just jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set up your custom columns. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and now we're in the Google Ads account and we're gonna set up uh, custom columns. Okay, so I'm here. You can have to, you're gonna have to do this um, on any level really, but I'm gonna do it here on the campaign level and they should show up in other parts of the account. I'll explain that in a second. But basically, I'm at the campaign level and I've got all this data here, which is just the standard data that Google Ads gives me. But to get custom columns, we're gonna to go to columns and go to modify columns and you have, you know, you can add in all these columns here, which is great. And I've got many of them over here with my big head. What we're going to do is go to custom columns and this is where we can actually combine different bits of data that's already in the account to create new metrics that is even more valuable for us for managing our campaigns. So something that I always love to add first, it's called profit generated. So let's add it in, call it profit generator. We're gonna set the name. You can put a description in. This, this might be helpful if you're setting up some sort of abstract or unique metric and you need to remember what it actually means. You can put a description in there, but it's, it's optional. And now we're gonna create it here with this formula. So this allows us to select the variables in the account already, com combine them together and create profit generated. So the formula to do this, it's very, very simple. We're gonna do a, a, an open bracket here we're going to go to conversion value. 
we're going to multiply this by our profit margin. Okay, if you don't know your profit margin, I have a video on how to calculate your profit. I'll leave a link in the description. Go and check that out. Calculate your profit. Generally, a, a e-commerce store will have anywhere between 20 to 40%, depending on the products, the niche, and how competitive it is, and all this sort of stuff like that. So I'm just going to put in um, 30%, so 0 0.3, close bracket, and then minus cost so performance and then cost something else i really like to do is down here change that to money so it's, it'll be in monetary value um, and what this does it's going to get the total sales that you've generated times that by your profit margin but then take away your actual ad spend so the important thing here is that when you add in this profit margin percentage here the 0 0.3 the decimal point you want to make sure that you get your profit margin for your store just like in that video i linked down below but then add back in the actual uh, ad spend for Google. And then here you take away it again here. So what this does is it's gonna take it away on the campaign level. If you look at a campaign, it's gonna take it away on the, the keyword level. If you look at a keyword on the ad group level, the ad level, even the whole account level, you'll be able to see this. And the advantage here is that, you know, on your profit and loss statement, I go through this in the video, you'll see that Google ads expense, it'll be there. But this allows you to see break up, broken up in the account how profitable profitable it actually is, okay? Um, so there it is. Make sure you have a look at my screen and put that in for yourself with your profit margin there, net profit margin that is, added back in the, the, uh, the Google ad spend. Change it to money, click save. Once it goes in, okay, it's selected here, it's selected, it's over here in the columns and we click apply and then we'll be able to see it over here. It's a fresh account. So this doesn't have any data in here, um, but I can show you another account um, to give you an idea of what that looks like. Let's go over to this one here. For example, this account here, we have profit generated here. So it shows it on the whole account level and then on a campaign basis too. So if I go back to this account, that's how you get profit generated. But there's, a, there's two other ones that I like to add into my accounts just so I can see some other metrics you know, there are so many different ones that you can make with these custom columns, but these are the ones that I recommend starting off with. Go to columns, modify columns, custom columns, create a custom column. This one is awesome. It's called average profit per conversion. Okay. So what this does, it's very similar to that one we just created, but this tells you how much profit that campaign, that keyword, that ad group is generating per order. Okay, so this is really important, okay, because you might have a lot of profit generated, but the average customer only brings in a small amount of profit. And that tells you that you could potentially increase the average order value and you'll increase the profit that you're generating per customer, which then leads to a massive gain in total profit generated. So let me let me add this in. So just we're gonna it's basically the same formula as before but then we actually divide it by the total number of conversions. So let's add it back in. So just follow what I'm doing. Conversion value multiplied by my profit margin, close bracket, minus the cost, close bracket again. And now we're going to divide this by conversions, total number of conversions. It's validating, change it to money, save, that's now in our account as well. Let's click apply. And there we have it over here. We have the same one over here as well. Average profit per conversion, you know, that's $13 per conversion on average for this account. And you can see, you know, look how different these campaigns are here. They're quite different. This one's really bringing up the average over here, you know? And so you can, you can see, even though, you know, one of them might actually have a greater amount of of conversion value or what have you. Like for example, you know, it's generating much higher volume of sales, the same profit generated. Um, and the average profit per conversion is, is lower. You know, the ROAS is much lower. It's because it's a branding campaign, of course. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's basically how you can use uh, average profit uh, per conversion to look at the campaigns and go, hmm, even though the profit generated is exactly the same, the average profit per conversion is vastly different. There's one last custom column that I like to add in and oh, keep going to campaign because <laughs> I see the plus. So let me go to modify columns. So let me add this one in. And this one, you honestly, it's not necessary, 
I like to add it in just because it's just much easier to read. And if I'm working with any partners or clients or even my team, you know, it's really easy to see uh, ROAS, which is, I'll put it in here, return on ad spent. This basically says, you put in $1, how many dollars are you gonna get back in sales? So very, very simple to calculate. Conversion value divided by cost. You should know this formula off by heart by the time you finish all my videos because ROAS is really important and it'll be a number. It's not a, you can do it as percentage. No, don't do it as percentage. Do it as a number. Don't put it as money. Put it as a number. Click save. Now, this is exactly the same as the metric conversion value divided by cost, which Google already has in here. So you may be asking, why do you put this in here, Sam? Well, to me, it's just much easier to explain and see when I'm talking to people and communicating. So I like to have it in there. It just looks a bit neater to me. So that's why it would be exactly the same as conversion value divided by cost. And you'll see that in the account uh, when you look at it, you know, this one doesn't have it in there. I can probably pull it out. I don't think you've got ROAS over there, but let me pull it out just so I can prove to you that I'm not lying. Conversion value divided by cost. There we go, 9.6, no, see, it's exactly the same, these two columns over here, because that's exactly what it is. ROAS is conversion value divided by cost. So those three columns are really important for your Google Ads for checking the actual performance. You know, so you, yes, you wanna get more sales, you, you wanna reduce your cost per conversion, but what's more important than just cost per conversion, which is over here, is the actual profit generated and the average profit per conversion, as well as the ROAS, because with these three metrics, you can really gauge the financial health of an account and look at it more on what's the end result. Because at the end of the day, you don't care about sales, you care about profit. Because you can make millions of dollars in sales, but if it costs you billions of dollars to, to get them in ad spend, what are they worth? Yeah, maybe you get some customer information, but it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. We wanna make profit. We wanna make profit off the front end, if possible. And so that's why these metrics really help you be guided in the right direction. Okay guys, that's how you set up your custom columns in your Google Ads account. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. I do my best to answer every single one. If you did find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.